So this isn't formally a KVM thing. It's more of a v, like VFIO DPDK thing. Uh, hmm? It doesn't matter. It, irrelevant. Um, the, it's a request we've had from people left, right, and center over the time over the years to be able to specify that uh, the mapping of a portion of a bar into user space through VFIO be done with right combined attributes. Uh, we can think of potentially a generic way of specifying any form of attributes, but right combined is the one people are today interested in. Uh, and so there was all discussions and RFC patch and stuff floating around for a while. Just an open discussion here, what would be the best way to, to do that? Um, I was thinking of using the existing, uh, oh God, I forgot the terminology now out of my mind, but VFI already have a concept of regions. Some are fixed, which are basically the bars, but some can be dynamically added. And uh, the today only dynamically added by specific, device specific backend drivers in the kernel. But um, because it's dynamic, we could extend this. And so the idea was to have IOCOTLs to create aliased regions that represent a portion of a bar with a different mapping attribute. And then the open questions are, what's allowable? Because every architecture has different rules when it comes to multiple mappings and conflicting attributes. Uh, do we need to unmap the equivalent portion of the normal bar or not, etc. So there's a bunch of uh, skeletons that needs to be dug out of. Uh... Yeah, so the reason why I ask if it's in a guest, because uh, as soon as you run uh, a guest kernel, uh, it, it can also apply its own attributes uh, yeah, in yeah. terms of PAT or whatever. And uh, that also complicates the, the possible conflicts uh, across different yes. mappings. So, for example, right now KVM uh, is not really allowing any of the of the guest attributes. Okay. KVM allows right combine. For the KVM guest attributes, though, that's something that we really need to look at because yes. they're horrific. The MTR stuff should just be killed because there's that's no right. use case for it, <laughs> and we should just allow pat period because there's actually no danger uh, if we do things right. Yeah, so there's architecture specific issues here. I'm not totally familiar about how the x86 general KVM general case does it. I know uh, I'm pretty sure we allow attributes by modified by the guest on EC2 with Brimstone. Uh, I'm pretty sure we allow it on PowerPC and an ARM as well. Uh, the way the memory types interact with each other, extremely architecture or even implementation specific. So it's a little bit nasty in that regard. Um, but yeah, I mean, the request is from customers who want to use things like VPDK and basically want to be able to use write combine when they write short messages in the message buffer of the device. They don't want to use DMA because it's low latency communication. So we're talking about message passing type of adapters, that sort of thing. Ben, you, you said a portion of the bar. You want a portion of the bar to be right combining, but not, is, is that really Correct. a requirement? Why a portion? If, if you say the whole bar, it gets quite a lot easier, right? So I don't know what specific requirements the last people who talked to me has, because it's again, very adapter specific. So I do remember some from some Melanox things from years ago, where the write buffer was somewhere in the middle of the same bar that also has the programming registers, which must not write combine. Yeah. So, the, the, and in fact, there was not even a 4K boundary or anything like this. So you need two mappings, one to access the registers and one to, uh, to do the write combine stuff. Um, the difficulty, of course, is write combine is not semantically well defined across all architectures and all implementations. On PowerPC, for example, we take out the GBIT. That potentially also mean prefetch, um, which means now we have that second mapping that also happens to have some programming registers in it somewhere else. Technically, the CPU is allowed to speculate and prefetch. Um, practice, it doesn't, but or at least it didn't. 
and nobody cares about Parfish anymore anyway. But um, yes, there is interesting issues around even the basic definition of what right combined means. Uh, it's not always clear for all architectures and all implementations. Uh, yeah. So that, I don't have a, a, a perfect answer to everything. I know there is a requirement that's been around for a long time. Uh, people have been annoyed not being able to write combine uh, on these things. Uh, food for thought. I mean, I haven't had time to work on this before today because I was not really doing other things. But um, I was going to do an RFC patch at some point along the lines of what I described earlier. And quick, quick thing. So if you do write combine on some register, you will break bunch of driver because driver have like, you need to write this register and then you need to write this source of register and you cannot combine the write, otherwise you get side effect that you don't want, so. And I was just gonna mention that it's a question of who knows where to write combine, Good, right? Correct, so, but it's, ultimately it's the driver and the DPDKK is, it is the right. user space driver. So if it's a user space driver, it makes sense that we can have a separate region, that driver knows where to do the yes. combining. In a VM, we really only need the one region and the guest via the MTTRs or whatever knows how to map that specific. Region. Yes, and I mean, and then you can pass through the entire device into the guest and then the guest itself could use DPDK with VFIO inside the guest and modify the leaf attributes in the guest page tables or MTR, if you can do that. I don't know how that works on x 36 but uh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to suggest like just do two completely separate mappings and it's up to user space to know do I access the right combining or the not yeah. right combining. But yeah, the passing it through to the guest one is then more complicated. You no, can't the passing through the guest, I don't think matters in that regard. The, the, the host VFIU will just pass the whole thing through. And then inside of the guest is just the leaf page table mappings of the guest that will define the attributes. Yeah, there's two considerations there. One, is it safe from the perspective of the host? So if you don't have concerns um, about aliasing memory with different attributes, either in terms of crashing the CPU yep. or having memory corruption, then it's a lot simpler because you can essentially just let the guest do whatever it wants. Um, that will take some arm wrangling of hardware vendors to get them to say exactly what is safe and exactly what behavior. Sure, are but Sean, today, got some of that the guest can already do that today. No, I mean, nope. we, we, we're not going to allow something nope. that the guest can't do already. Nope, not on x86. It's a disaster. Yeah, well, the then that's okay. It. I mean, uh, the, the, I'm, I'm not necessarily proposing that we relax existing limitation like this. <laughs> okay, but that's that, that's an also that, that's an also little thing. That in the point, well, in, my my point is the the interface change I'm proposing yeah. are not related. But if to you that. bring in the guest, if you don't relax what KVM does, mm -hmm. it becomes ridiculously complex because then you are trying. If you don't say that having right combining the guest but not right combining the host is safe, then you have to explicitly disallow that, and that means you're either trying to shadow what the guest is doing with its page tables to prevent the guest from using right combining. You're either mucking okay. with the pat MSR in x86, you're messing with EPT tables to ignore the guest pat, and it's just it's a disaster. All right. If we can rule out all of that and say this is safe, we don't care okay. what the guest does, then it becomes so, much more of a non-issue. In my experience, right combined uh, aliasing tend to be safe in things I know about, but I don't know everything. And this is why I want um, Intel and AMD to be like, yeah, this is safe. You the will not one you machine. really, really do not want to mess with like this is cacheability because you can potentially crash the machine or allow the guest to uncover the memory underneath the, the caches, which we really do not want to do. So the, the, the one we don't want to let people mess around like easily, at least not in a guest, is cacheability or even uh, in user space. But right combined, in my experience, I tend to be, but yes, we should try to get somebody at Intel and, a and, and AMD to sign something in blood. Uh, yeah. So in, Intel and AMD are also different because Intel has a bit to say override the, the guests uh, mapping. So it's, it's easy on AMD there's like a, a kind of three-dimensional table mm -hmm. of uh, guest, um, pet, guest, MTRR, host, uh, pet, whatever. And uh, 
I, I know that we had both uh, issues where things were too slow because it got uncached instead of right back and things uh, where we got uh, machine checks on Intel because it was not using the, the right mapping and it was causing conflicts. Uh, the, I am 99% certain that the machine checks were not due to conflicts. It was because the patches that allowed the guest to map whatever it wanted with whatever attributes it wanted allowed it for host MMIO, which meant that the guest could access host MMIO with write back and that will machine check. If you access, say, your, your APIC through the MMIO mapping with write back, that will immediately machine check. And I think that's what the historical problem was that we worked around in KVM by saying, we're just going to completely ignore whatever you want. That's okay. the restriction I want to remove. The other thing that we have really messed up on x86 is the MTRRs, which we honor on Intel, but not AMD. And I'm 99% certain that is also a hack around for the machine check problem no. and not digging okay. through everything because the only reason that you would honor the MTRRs would be to get UC or write combining for guess things that it wants to access, but it works on AMD and no one's complained for 15 years. So <laughs> why do we need it? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember, like I was just starting KDM at the time, but I remember that the machine checks, uh, we were seeing them uh, <laughs> only with the uh, uh, Melanox uh, patches to the driver that were kind of uh, hacking and forcing the use of a white combining map mapping. So it, it, there, there was something that had to do specifically with, with white combining. Uh, for AMD, it, I, I think it's just that the code for MTRR was uh, contributed by Intel and the particularly uh bad maintainer that didn't know what he was doing <laughs> didn't notice that there was also something to do it on the inter on the amd side so i've opened a bigger kind of worm than i was expecting here um i can't deal with that specific problem i don't have the expertise for that what i can do is when i finally get a bit of time uh we put some uh rfc patches for the interfaces IO controls in VFIO to enable doing those aliases and uh, and we can continue on the mailing list um, figure out where we put some form of validation of conflicting uh, aliases which probably going to have to be an arc specific hook unfortunately and um, and how much we abstract do we just create an abstraction for right combine or we have a pass through for arbitrary attributes no, we, we're going to have to to hash that one out even if we don't solve the KVM problem initially, it's already going to be useful for metal systems using GPDK. So, uh, yeah. I wanted to point out, Will online is pointing out that uh, ARM64 can actually speculate read on right combine. So if you have speculate read on right combine, it means you can have also write, clean right back some, some cases. So it will just break a lock on your register for your devices. So just pointing out that comment online. So, you know, it really, you really need to have the Intel, AMD and ARM to tell you, hey, it's safe to do. Uh, otherwise it's gonna be a real mess for the driver. It, 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 on ARM, you can, what, 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 is, what is Will exactly saying? <laughs> ARM64 can absolutely speculate from one combined. Yeah, well, a lot of, uh, a lot of architecture I think can. Um, the issue is if they do a clean write back. So if you do, so they, they most of those devices we're talking about are fairly modern and sane, which means they do not care about reads and they don't have those things. Thankfully, tend to disappear these days. Uh, I'm still seeing clean write back on some architecture. I won't name people, but mm. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm seeing still. Yeah, yeah. I mean the the. <laughs> The lot of devices are moving toward having prefetchable bars for that reason. Um, and, and so they tend to drop the whole read clear and the read side effects. But yeah, I mean, we, we can look into it. I mean, we could maybe, if, if it works for whatever the latest customer is asking, uh, to just have a strict separation uh, of pages at least and non aliasing. Uh, for whatever the devices they are using today and ignore the ones who... Yeah, but um, I think what we really want, want mm -hmm. to see, at least on my part, is like, make sure that device maker actually isolate this kind of range on 4K ranges, at yeah. least. And well, on, 64K on, is... If, I mean, okay, on yeah. 16, <laughs> yes, 4K becomes an issue, yeah. Uh, or 16K or not. <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, the... 
we can I can need a bit more and check uh, talk to whoever asked last and look what the device looked like. We could initially just four bit aliases like unmap the original fragment of the original bar or even make it whole bars. Um, I didn't want to, uh, to have an API that was limited to just changing the mapping of an entire bar. I thought that was too limited. Um, so, but we could have something that if we create one of those subregions for a fragment of a bar, we actually unmap then the portion, uh, the original portion. I don't know. We, we can look into it. 